Um, I didn't, I can't answer that because I never even tried to go through my own personal attorney. I um, went with this company. So with this company, um, we also have a attorney and it comes free of charge if you are in, if you become a client. So you okay. so so you can actually handle it then. Yeah. So you won't have to um, find you know and pay extra money to get your dispute letters typed up because attorneys, if you go to a credit attorney, they're gonna charge mm -hmm. you big time. Yeah. So okay. Well, I mean, I didn't know that you you offered. So I guess how did to get a dispute letter yeah. just come to you? Exactly. If you come okay. to me and become a client or agent, you can get your services. Your um, attorney uh, services for free because you are mm -hmm. a part. You're part of the program, so yes. Okay, and then you also mentioned that student loans can be wiped. Does it? Does it? Are there any stipulations to that, or can anybody do it, or you know, how does someone go about that? Because I know that's definitely hot. Dispute letters. Dispute letter. So, what are the stipulations? Like, why isn't everybody writing a dispute letter saying that they don't want to pay student loans? I mean, because it's a certain way that you have to type those letters up. Like, for me, like I said, I didn't know how. You mm -hmm. have to have the dispute letter. So, I mean, I didn't know how to do it. So, I, I found someone to, um, I got with this this uh, credit company and they done it for me. So, will they wipe the entire student loan debt or... Is it a percentage or how does that uh, work? That's why I posted my personal results to show that it was deleted off. Uh, if they can go back and look on my, um, I mean, on in the group, or if they are a friend of mine on my Facebook page, they can ask, actually go to my Facebook page and they can see that the student loans are gone. They're deleted. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I actually um I check my uh credit score and um I checked my uh credit score what yesterday and they did not show up. It's not even on my report. So so you don't owe any student loans at all. I don't owe anything at all. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's that's probably the most amazing thing anybody could say. I mean, can you dispute your car too? <laughs> <laughs> I just start disputing everything. <laughs> you right. go go on a shopping spree and just dispute the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. So basically, if you want your student loans wiped, you want um to knock down some of the the debt that you owe. Let me ask this then. So after the dispute letter is done and your debt is resolved, do they force you or like say it's on a credit card? Do they force you to close that card? Close the, the card down? Yeah. No. So the debt is just white, but you are able to still use that card. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you would have to probably disable that card. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know. All right. So now that we know the, the positive things that we can do, I guess, can you expound a little bit on what can damage your credit? Um, not paying your bills on time. Mm -hmm. Um, when you um apply for loans and not paying those off, um, bankruptcy will damage your credit. Um, really? Yes. I thought bankruptcy was to help credit. No. Where'd you get that from? I don't know. I, I'm not. I don't plan on filing bankruptcy, but I just figured. All right, well you don't owe you don't owe anything anymore, so maybe it'll help. <laughs> um, I don't know, I had one client that um was going through that and at the time I was just starting out and she asked me about that and I was like, you know, trying to figure that out myself and come to find out, um, that's what she said. She said that she was bankruptcy and she could not get it off for anything and she asked me what I need what she needed to do. And um, like I said, at that time, I was just starting out, so I had to go to my mentor and ask her, you know, what to do about it. And um, she said that she recommend, like, you can get your credit fixed if you're in bankruptcy, 
but it's really not recommended because it's going to take a longer time frame than someone that's not in bankruptcy. Okay. Okay. So uh, we got a question here from the audience: Is is consolidating your debt in one payment better? Also, can you still use your card if you are consolidating? Um, that question I will have to um get um some information on it. Um, if she can message me her name, I will gladly get that question answered for her. That's the okay. first time I've ever um heard of that one. Okay. Okay. And I guess well, that kind of leads me to it. With student loans, they tell you, you know, the, the consolidating all your loan payments into one can be beneficial. Is that true or should you leave them separate into smaller balances? Um, when I was started out, I didn't, I didn't pay the full balance all at one time because I didn't have it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I would just pay portion of it, you know, half of what I could pay. And then I would come back the next month and pay the other half. And then mm -hmm. um, even doing that, it was still on my credit. So for me, I think that either, even if I wouldn't have done it and paid it off, I think that you still just need dispute letters. Okay. So would you be able to I, dispute I every single about, one or would you consolidate them and then dispute them? I think I would consolidate and then dispute them. Okay. So maybe it's the same for um, for the credit. So you also mentioned, what else did you say can damage your credit if you, we, we established that you, if you don't pay your bills, um, if you pay them late, that also affects your credit in, in a negative way. What else did you say would hurt your credit? Um, something else that can hurt your credit will be... Um, oh, when you said bankruptcy. Uh, yes, bankruptcy. And then um, just leaving your, uh, your accounts like negative... If you keep, like, some people will go in and, you know, they'll get, like, tons of withdrawals, like, every month. Like, you know how um, they have that overdraft protection plan? Yes. Some people, if they know it's there, they'll just overdraft, but they'll just keep going to get that money every month. But it's not, you know, it's hurting your credit as well when you do that. So some people just get that overdraft protection plan and just know that it's there. Mm -hmm. And so every month they're in the red, like their account is negative. So even though that you go and get that 500 or whatever they the bank offers you, you go get that every mm -hmm. month after you've gotten paid. And you keep doing that month after month, it drops your credit score. So I wouldn't do that. Um, also, when you're getting your credit score, when you're getting your credit fixed, I would not apply for any loans for six months. After, so after. I tell all my, yes, I tell all my clients when they come and get their credit fixed, do not apply for any credits for six months. When you do that, they that? hit your credit real hard and it drops your credit score because they're constantly checking your credit score while you're getting it, you know, fixed. And then you're applying for loans on top of it. So all of so those inquiries. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got a question here. It says, how about maxing out the limit? How about, how about maxing out the limit? No, never max out that limit. Because what are you going to do when you max it out and can't pay it? There's, I guess, the, so it may be also because, you know, they say once you go past your half of your credit limit, that that can negatively affect it. So I guess... If you max it out, it's probably even worse. That's correct. Okay. You can be on my team. Huh? You can come join me and be an agent. You know a lot. <laughs> Say it again. I said you can come and join me anytime and be an agent. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I know enough. I I mean, I'm I'm always down to learn though. <laughs> All right. So, you, can you think of anything else that would damage your credit score? What about um, 
you know how you were saying that you put your children or you put other people on your credit to uh, help them establish credit? Can that uh, can that hurt your credit score or does that help your credit score? Mm-hmm. Or can it go either way? It builds. It builds your credit score and theirs as well. Okay. So could they negatively affect your credit score? No. Only if you you don't pay make payments on the card. Okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I guess with that because they're underage and they're just trying to build their credit score, so they they can't harm it unless someone doesn't make the payment on the credit card, right? Okay, so then that's kind of a risk, but um, yeah. You want to make sure that they have good credit with you first before you put them on your credit card. <laughs> yeah. Well, my um, my son, he's 17, so I put him on mine. So, of course, it's going to get paid because I'm not going to let it slip. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. Unless he goes out there and just goes and buy a new you know, car and then he shows up. Uh-uh. Hey. I, I got it to every time he, he swiped that car, it, it comes to my phone. I know where he is and how much he spent and what you're doing. <laughs> And he can't come home if that's that's the case. <laughs> I just give him a limit, and um, he's just being like I just give him a hundred dollars and tell him, hey, you can do the hundred dollars, and you know, don't go over that. So he's been doing pretty good with it, though. <laughs>